Welcome back. This is Lone Wolf. We're playing on Vintage Story 119 in a world that I made with a, kind of a special thing that I just came up with for myself, which is that in this uh, in this Let's Play, I don't get to have a permanent base. So we had a temporary one set here. <clears throat> From that, we got... Uh, couple of copper pickaxes, hammer, copper anvil. Um, we did more than that though. No, we made hammers and nails and I made a trunk for myself. Then now we're going wherever. There's no rules, just I can't have a permanent base. That's basically I mean, that's my self-imposed thing. And I think grain is going to be the most difficult. I mean, we're, we're not even, I mean, dairy's not even a consideration, right? So, counting dairy out, then grain is going to be the most difficult. I've passed up on the uh, the high fertility soil, which is the 119 replacement for Terra Preta. Because I'm not, I don't know how to have a farm in this style of of playthrough. So since I don't know how to do it, I'm planning on not doing it. I don't know how any of this is going to work. I'm going to make leather. I mean, I could, I could at some point, but right now, right now I can't, so I'm just, it's just not on the menu. And if this guy wants to die, I'm happy to kill him. Whoa. Because you hurt, you decide you better run from me, huh? Jeez. Okay. Auto chat. No, never. What was that? That was a weird sound. Uh, some geologic activity here. So this is just basically me adventuring the whole time. Periodically uh, stopping and making a temporary place to do things that just can't be done on the run. So I think if I 
oil the hides, then I can't turn them into leather, I think. Old hides, yeah. And what can I do with it? Okay. Nah, you just, you can't make leather out of it, I'm quite certain. Are you looking at me? I know you were. Take your attitude to somewhere else, buddy. It'll kill you around here. Such an attitude. much one two three waste of time there we go yeah I saw your mama or your daddy I know what you'll grow up to be so these episodes are gonna be longer than what I've done in the past Wow, look at all the hyenas. I don't mind killing them. It's not what I live for. However. Alright, so we got our fourth linen sack. I guess if we run into... Uh, an area that can... Oh, I know what I was going to do. Alright, while we're in Peridotite...ville area... I need some Peridotite rocks to make a corn with. I need to make my I need to make my um, I need to make my ground uh, grains stretch as far as possible particular if I can't have a farm. Were you a little doggy?
There should be two hits on you. Parent. I'm sure you've stopped by now. There you go. I think we have pretty much endless supply of uh, meat if we want it. I mean, hyenas are just prolific. I don't know. I don't want to get rid of the hides, but uh, I need stuff that's going to do something for me. For instance, I don't want gambeset armor specifically. I want leather armor specifically. But I can get flax. Well, hello. Is this rice? No, I don't think so. No, you're not mature. Didn't I see some other stuff? Yes, I must, I must have you. Wherever I go, you're going to be the reminder of home. things unknown but this is this was my idea so I want to see what I can do with it not saying it's original not saying it hasn't been done before I wouldn't have the slightest idea I see lots of snowball earth and you know wilderness survival and survival haven't seen this and it wouldn't matter to me anyways because this sounds interesting to me okay you make some funny noises oh see there's there's the soil so that's the third time I've found soil What you doing, Fox? Well, let's go see about this here. Oh, no, 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 no. This is what we're going to come and see here. When do, when do these start giving multiple seeds? I am confused about that. Not like, uh, well, that's incredible, but scratch my head. When did that start? Okay, whatever. fascinating. No, it wasn't. So can Lone Wolf play Vintage Story without his massive arms? Well, speaking of massive, nice butt shot of a polar bear. Anything down here? 
anything worth checking out? I did get uh, fur clothing on. These, of course, are heavily tattered, but uh, I should benefit from those clothing as it's as we go into cold areas. So this is just basically supposed to be one giant adventure with sporadic pauses. Definitely hope to be doing all the caving and everything as usual. Well, I don't find myself interested in going into glacial areas, but I did make this Apache world so the biomes change fast and furious. Take some grain. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Can you believe that? What a jump wolf. Yeah, there's more of the good stuff. And more of me. <gasps> Be still my heart, leaving it behind. Until I have a stack of these, I'm, I'm collecting them. I am going to sacrifice whatever else I have to sacrifice for my Perfect cornflower flowers because I love them so. Hello, flax. Immature flax. You're so immature, man. <laughs> okay, wolf, well, settle down. Settle down. No way, man. No way. One thing you can say about the cranberry, they last longer than the rest of the berries, the rest of the fruit. Except, of course, fruit from a tree and especially from breadfruit. which I did find one of, and I did get cuttings from, and then I chose to leave them behind. And I didn't want it, but I made that hard choice. No need to have them if I can't farm. can't have a permanent base. Doesn't mean I couldn't come back to areas where I've done some themes, some things, and uh, benefit from whatever that was that I did. I just don't know. This is a brand new idea. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Why am I coming up here? Don't know, but it's pretty up here. Oh, let me look at the map. Hmm. Oh, yeah. You base this off of wilderness survival. Why, yes, I did. Doesn't seem to have hurt me so far. All right, well, we, we. It's just stupid to print in like I don't have a tool to get through this crap. Little bunny. Let's get that, uh, Let's get that nonsense out of my stuff right now. It has no place. I'm sorry you're in there, little bunny, but... Not much I can do about it for you. Wow, how rich. Can you get out? You could get out now, by the way. You can get out the same way I just did. And a traitor. Hmm. That looked like a vessel sitting on the surface. Oh my gosh. What is this chalk? Huh. Hmm. Oh boy. Is this a convoy? Yeah. Treasure Hunter Trader. Stop walking around like you got your head cut off. Nothing I need. I think this questions are ridiculous. Is that rot? Yes, that's right. It can be rough up here. All of these channels, gorges, wow, sorry little rabbit, you're not getting out of there, and there is nothing I can do to help you, nothing I'm going to try to do to help you, I'd have to be, oh my gosh, wow. Serious erosion. Little bunny rabbit. Sorry you're having a hard time. All right, well. Hmm. Well, I don't need you. I don't need you. 
I don't need you. Okay, that's where my... Okay. Let me go. Let me cook some of my food. One log. Now, if, if, 119 hadn't changed what happens to hides you can bet your bottom dollar there'd be no hides sitting on the ground right now Not enough. Let's go have a walkabout. Oh, this entire play session is a walkabout. This entire let's play is a walkabout. At least that's what I intend it to be. Only time will tell. Disastrous idea, brilliant plan. Useless, stupid thinking. We don't know. We don't know enough to even comment on it. Well, I definitely got myself up on the plateau. And I have no plans on uh, returning from whence I came. Chalk is interesting because I can turn that into line. And just by using the quern, I can do that. It's also a pigment if I wanted to write on things. Maybe I'll get the quern out and turn it into line. I don't know. 
Then I have to have barrels. I'm just not seeing it right now. That's something you do where you go and you set up temporary base. Seems to me. Alright, let's figure out what we want to do now. I'm sure there's plenty more to see up on this plateau. <laughs> okay, rabbit. Okay, wascally rabbit. For instance, here's some mature grain. Yeah, it's like a uh, big quarry. Done by man, ruining everything. Ruining the planet, destroying it. No respect. Yeah, that's not how I feel. I understand why people feel that way, though. You're bear. You're a bear. Maybe I shouldn't be standing there by you, wondering why you're not uh, attacking me. Maybe I should just say thanks and leave it at that. Seemed to be stuck in there, but I didn't see how. I wasn't going to offer to help unstick him. Holy crap. Yeah, I think I could come down here. Waterfall, okay. So this is my life on this Let's Play. This is it. This is, this is, this is it. Every once in a while, stop do something that needs to be done that can't be done while moving along. It's just constant world gin too, I think, for the most part. Got a good computer. It's handling it well. The CPU is at 22% and the GPU is at 55%. Memory is at 24%. We're doing just fine, thank you. Just fine.
<laughs> I was right. Slide <clears throat> these way back yonder. Did I get them all? One big adventure. Oh, it makes me feel tickly in certain places as I walk up to them. I didn't think this is what I came down here, but I started coming down. I thought, um, mm -hmm. no, we don't need these. Don't need those with me while I'm in here doing business. Empty. Oh, look at that. A brass torch holder, a bed, a rotted ruin, a uh, tapestry. Stuff I don't need. A painting that I don't have a place to put it. All kinds of neat things. I'd take you, but you don't stack with my aged torch holders. Goodness. Wow, we're rich. We have seven years. Ominous music. Oh my gosh. These are the stones that will never leave me. Not one lick of armor on me.
I'm glad we didn't run into a bunch of baddies. But we can't stay. Oh. We can't stay out of caves forever. That wouldn't be playing Vintage Story. That's not how I want to play. Just because this is a different play style. That doesn't mean I don't want to do all the things that I typically do. Because I do. I just have to figure out on how to do them. With this odd idea of mine. I hope you're enjoying this. Hopefully it's pretty mellow, laid back. all these crevasses crevasses I could say crevasse does that make me cool? crevasse ah, it makes you some kind of weirdo well, then I should keep saying it brings out the truth about me Looks like some spelt there. Mature spelt. That could be mature flax right there, actually. That's some of the good stuff. That's number four of me passing it up. And I'm I'm gonna Be sick in my mouth if I keep doing that. Now we saw far past there. Back all the way up to here. a linen plus a twine which would make me a linen sack we have our linen sack so now we're thinking yeah and then yeah and then that which oh my gosh Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. Wow, eleven times sixteen. That's a lot of lax fiber. But we'll get it. And we'll get it without growing it. I mean, we've used eighty of them already. Just on getting my linen sacks. So we'll get them, it's just a matter of time, patience, effort. Isn't that where I just harvested from was right there? Yeah. Hello kids. <laughs> I'm so funny. Actually there's a cave looking thing over here. Don't go jump down into the cave. There you go. That's what I'm thinking about doing. And 
Now I'm not thinking about doing it. It's really weird looking. Must have been some dust. Yeah, I'm not going to go down here. And if I did, I think I'd be down there. And if I was down there, You're a dumb one, Mr. Wolf. Well, thanks for the compliment. I appreciate that. More than you know. More than you know. Wow. And a ruin, of all things. Wow, this is stepped perfectly. I don't know why I want to go this far down. I shouldn't. So let's put a stop to it. Let's go back to the ruin. Oh, uh, wolf. Yes, I call this Hall of Banners. The Hall of Banners ruin. Man, how is these things all rotted? Usually somebody has to get in some sort of proximity. Oh, yes. You can go, you can be added to my collection. You will stack with them. Blackguard short sword. Ruined boar spear. I am not a. I am not against picking this up, by the way. Of course, somebody would probably tell me, well, you should pick them both up. How much damage does this thing do? 5.3 2.5 range, 3.5 range 5.3, so more than uh, throwing of course way more than poking the spear is a problem in my mind because the spear makes it so you can't even see what you're doing. Or my, that is my assessment from previous experience. I love all these banners, love all this stuff. So this is a ruined claymore. Whatever that is. No, it's a big broadsword. Okay. What are you saying? Can't place it? That's just weird. Yeah, I pick this stuff up and then it's like, well, wolf. What are you, you know, what are, what are you thinking? Let's see what this is like. Uh, 
That actually seems like the spears of old. That, uh... saying yeah did that say 17 hours no Lightweight made for skirmishes in the narrow tunnels. I know that the shield is valuable too. I know that's a book I can pick up and. Why can't I place you? useless. So the reason I decided to bring this is because when I get somewhere it's not useless because that could be useful for storage at uh, wherever we go to our little temporary layover. I don't want to take any of this apart. I don't have room for anything that's, you know, any of the cool things that are in here. Well, I do want to take it apart, but I'm going to resist that. That's not what you do when you're on a grand adventure. You have to be mindful of every inventory slot. Wow. That was fun. That was fun. Now let me pull up my map and see where I was heading. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I know it's not funny. But that's what my instinctual habits are telling me to do. Maybe some mature flax here. Nope. the sun back there so it's afternoon and I think that's yeah so the sun's setting in the west so this would be south assuming the sun is setting in the west I mean I know which side of me left or right that's sitting on be really nice to be able to bake some bread. I guess this doesn't have to be 
I guess I'm artificially putting parameters on the requirements. That's mature flax. That's the best soil that's available, and I'm walking past it. That's number five, as I recall them. I don't, I don't really have a sense of humor about it. But that's what I've. This is this is my choice, right? So I say I don't have a sense of humor about it. Ah. I must or I wouldn't be doing this. Or I wouldn't be leaving that soil in the ground like I am. That's a nice deposit too. Alright, so I think this is west. Doesn't matter which direction I go. I just look at what's in front of me and do I want to go that way? Is it too is it colder than I want? Is it rougher than I want? And oh I thought for sure. Actually, I did think that was mature flax. Absolutely, I did. Four or five. Well, does that mean I'll get... Huh. Absolutely. Burnt gold. Get enough flax. Make some Gambison body armor. Even though I'm not a particular fan of it, I mean, I recognize that it's better than leather. But better how? Within what bounds is it better? Clearly, I think leather is better. That's why I keep making it every time I play. Pig, you come at me. I'll, I'll just have to kill you. Uh, I have a phrase in mind that I'd like to use, but since this is a family channel, I won't. I'll keep it to myself. Got a chicken all pissed off at me. Maybe you all should kill it. Especially the pigs. Oh, yeah, he did damage me. But I'm not the one dead. He came at me to protect his little ones, and in the end, it left them unprotected. So who's the real fool? Fool? Who's the real fool, fool? And thankfully I do have bandages with me that I could heal myself with.
kind of gray overcast, isn't it? But you're here doing your thing and we need you to do it. Just because you're spoiling my picnic. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. No damage. Oh, little bunny. I know it feels like I'm here to womp on you. I'm actually not. You know, and then I'm, I'm playing, I should start with sharing my thought that I just had, you know, if I, I'm playing absolutely no farm, but you know, if I change my mind later on, all those seeds and everything I'm throwing away, all that dirt that I'm passing up, there's still more of it out there. I can find it all again and will do so. Nice. So that would mean 10 flax fibers. Because I got 40 of them. And there's forticles you can make in, not flax fibers, uh, twine. And four goes into making each twine. Come on. I don't dig this music. Nothing about this music I did. So lucky for me, I can turn it down and you'll still get to hear it. I still hear, I still know it's there, but uh, I'm not. I'm not hearing it the same as you. I assume we're on, see this is the thing, we're, we're going to be on volume one. See, way too dang loud, way too loud way too loud. I'm trying to get that point across on the Vintage Story Discord that there's a serious problem. Somebody's going to take a hearing damage from the sound and they're going to get threatened with a lawsuit and they're being told now not just by me they're getting told from players hey this is just too dang loud and one of the guys that does uh, finds a lot of bugs he posted the not to get too technical he posted the algorithm on how to do it and I'm not saying it's just a piece of cake to, piece of cake to just implement it but somebody did the hard work and did the research and found the solution that needs to be implemented Oh, thank goodness this song's over. Good grief. Oh, uh, it starts out great. And, you know, it builds intensity and intensity. And then it's just freaking loud is all it is at that point. It just gets loud. It's not, it's not more intense. It's not changing my emotion. Other than maybe aggravating me I don't know when people start blaring crap in my ears yeah I find that aggravating I'm okay with saying that yeah aggravating Now there's something that's not aggravating on it. I'll turn my sound back up. A 
loudness by definition does not mean intensity. It just means it's loud. And, and loud can be fantastic or loud can be obnoxious. In this case, it's obnoxious. Not sure what you had in mind there, Lo-Fi. Well, I think I do know what you had in mind. I think it just doesn't work. See, we're not that far off on uh, full grain bar. If you move, if you look, if you're paying attention, you can do it. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I want to do this. It's just, I don't know. I think, well, I want to do it because I don't think it's hard to do. And in reality, when I'm playing single player, when, when I had, you know, this is how I used to play single player every time. I didn't, I didn't know to simply change the climate and I'd end up where I wanted to be to start off. I would, I would take the default climate and it was always too cold to me. That is to say, I didn't want to play there. And so then I would travel 10,000 blocks straight south before I'd even start considering settling down. Of course, then it all depended on the area, what was there. Is it full of wolves? You know, what's the deal? So it always depended on, you know, where I settled always depended, but it was always start and head 10,000 blocks south at least. But in the Apache world, I don't have to do that. And if I set the temp starting temperature I want, I don't have to do that. So I don't do that anymore. And I don't know if you had the ability to set the temperature all along. I, I have no idea. Yowza, I'm not ready for that one. But that's exactly what I would do. And so this is the exact same thing that I would do every time I would start a new world. I wasn't calling it an adventure. It was, I'm getting the heck out of Coldville because I don't want to play in that crap. But by the time I would get to wherever I was going, I'd have way more copper than I needed for my first tools. I'd be stuffed full to the gills. Then I figured out, hey, pick up every piece of mature flax you find along the way. And then guess what happened? By the time I got where I was going, I already had my linen sacks, linen bags, whatever they're called. Linen bags, I assume. That's, yeah. Linen sack. I already had my linen sacks. So I didn't have to sit there and grow crops and hope and beg and plead. Oh, hurry, 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 please. Oh, I'm dying. No, just travel the world and pick it up. It's already laying out there just waiting for you to pick it up. Some kind of goat, I assume. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. I don't have my, I don't have any ladders. I was gonna say I don't have my rope ladders. Heck, I don't have any ladders. You are a funny sounding creature. And you probably sound something like that in real life because the people that make this game, they do research. They do good work and they're good people and they listen.
this a cave I can go down? This is a cave worth going down. You never know the answer to that question until you go down. One thing's for certain. What's that, wolf? I don't have any protection. Going to doing this stuff is high risk. Speaking of rope ladders. of caves. Yeah, that would require too much uh, rock breaking for what I'm at right now. Thank you. Admittedly, the flax screen doesn't uh, do much filling of anything because it's the most useless grain in the game, but it's attached to one of the most useful things in the game, the flax fiber. Like maybe I'm getting it over my head if I do this. But then what am I playing for? I'm too scared. Too chicken to do anything. Oh boy. Oh boy. says oh my he says well there's uh, more that way oh come on wolf all right that might have been a harder jump than I was giving you credit for not jump but Harder maneuver than I was given credit for. Not looking to get out, and no, I don't remember the way out. But I better find a way out. And in fact, that way out brought me here. And I can come over here. Uh, I'm not showing off, I'm just trying to maneuver through the cave. I want to see what's in it. Will this go fizzle like it did in Minecraft? It didn't fizzle. And that's okay. I didn't need it to fizzle. I'd wonder if it did. Oh! I incorrectly made an assumption. Dagnabbit! Is there no block under any of these? Apparently not. I'm glad I didn't fall down there. <laughs> Finally, there is one. And it's when you're when you're at the end. Yes, cave experience. 
exploring. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my. I suspect this doesn't actually go anywhere. And it does not. But that didn't mean I didn't want to see. Oh my gosh, Wolf, you're getting so deep into this thing. Oh! Well, I like bismuth. I like bismuth a lot. Do I need bronze? Oh, copper will do. This would be my first choice in what I make a lantern out of. Was that a wolf howl? What, what was that? What was that weird sound? So this is rich. Let's see. It has five nuggets inside each chunk. That's lovely. That means we're getting plenty of it. Absolutely make a plate out of this. Someday I'll get a candle. Well, there are beehives out there, sir. And now that you have a bucket, you can harvest a beehive and get the honey out of it. The honeycomb, so you can be making candles. Making candles, so you can be making... Oh, that was crystallized. Yeah, I was going off, wasn't I? <laughs> Not in any bad way, I don't think. So, crystallized boys, we're finding them. full enough that we can't do anything with them. Can't pick them up. And I'm alright with that. Because right here that's uh, 120 nuggets I think that we have right there. Nice. I mean, I could I could push here and see if there's any more, but uh, I think we're good. We have not been up here. Ha ha ha. Well, we didn't come that way, but we've been up here. And we came in from down here. Somewhere. Oh, crud. Well, we came from this direction. So we must have come from here. Hmm. Ah. Ah. I say ah because I didn't see that as I was walking back up. Well, this looks like daylight. Is there daylight this way too? Because I think I came in from this side. You know, this would uh, look better if that wasn't there. These weren't here. Because this way now it just looks like some jaws. I don't know. This isn't going to turn out what I want, but that's okay. Well, 
looks like we need to eat. And maybe, like right darn now, we need to eat. Well, neat. We did some caving. We got some rich bismuth. Yeah, I hear you, Rift. Ask me if I care. Answer is I don't. So what time is it? Five in the morning. Yeah, I think that's. I think I'm heading south when I'm pointing that way. And there's no reason for south because in the patchy world things are just what they are. Yes, get that blaze off my back, please. Thank you. So, so that would give me five times three. That would give me fifteen. And I do have extra sticks. So not only is this Apache world, but I made it 25k to the polar equators as well. So you get the effects of the patchiness. And then it's double more exaggerated more by the 25k polar equator. So if you want to see lots of different parts of the world's types of stuff, got you in 25k? Yeah, you should give it a go. I should stop and bake some bread. Got all that rice. More rice? Yeah. I mean, that certainly sounds like the cry of a wolf to me. Forage. Well, let's see if forage includes Lacks twine. Forge includes grass. Oh, no, 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 not what I want to do. Jeez. We have grass in there? We do not. And if we're not going to. Let's see what we can see here. Let's see what can be seen. Yeah, lots of 
Lots of ruins. Unfortunately, I don't usually care that much, but uh, I think with this play style that I'm trying, I think ruins could be really important to me. And they already have been, by the way. Not just could be. Could be, have been. You a white-tailed deer? I'll never get you. I don't want to try. And not finish you off. That's against the hunter's code. And I know the code. Because I'm a hunter. Don't believe me? Just watch this video. Well, this is what I would call an absolute mess to be in. Nothing about the swampy. I'm just gonna say it out, right? Swampy crap that I like. We could go that way and get out of here, I think. Which I wish to do. The get out of here part. Don't want to be in the swampy. I'm not sure what's good about the swamp. Well, it's it's not so it's swamp going into jungle and you just hit two of my no thanks buttons. interesting entrance. Let's go look at it. We get to do this because we're always on adventure. Hello, Auric. Otherwise known as Cal. To me, Pete, um, swing that sword, Wolf. Uh, yeah, okay. Wasn't trying to. Well, I am very interested in not having that seed on me. I wonder if these two join somewhere. Yeah, this, uh, this pickaxe has done some duty. That looks like that probably is yep, right where I was asking the question. I wonder if these meet up. And my answer to that question is, sure looks like it. Well, not all caves are winners. Of course. And not all winners are caves, Wolf. Oh, what does that even mean? You moron. Hey, don't talk to me like that. I have feelings. <laughs> okay. Wolf, you're losing it. Did I just not pick these up? Yeah, I just did not pick them up. That's because I got some things that I don't care about in my inventory. Bitty five.
And how much did I say I need? So, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 times 16, right? Yeah. So it's a lot. I did the math once. That's more than I'm capable of. Or maybe I didn't do the math once. Either way, it's all good. I get by with myself. It sounds like a Fleetwood Mac lyric. Fleetwood Mac, what's that? Is that a car? No, young ones, no. It's a great rock band from the 70s that lived into the 80s. Who, to me, are still relevant. Now, they're not relevant, but they're still, their music's still awesome. Yeah, they're not relevant. I can't say that. Certainly was as I was growing up. Yes, I am old compared to most of y'all. We've got some spelt here. So I guess what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of kind of like to find a trader again. The trader didn't really do anything for me specifically, but it's just kind of a it's kind of a place to to kind of centralize what I'm doing. It's not necessary, but I like it, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. I haven't seen a trader for a while. I'm not complaining about that. Oh, look at all that. Peaked. <laughs> oh, you thought I was thinking that that was high fertility soil, weren't you? I know what you were thinking. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's high fertility soil. That's what you thought. What was that? I didn't quite catch what you muddled under the breath. You thought it was high fertility soil walls. I don't even know if you're speaking. I'm just hearing va 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 va. Yeah, Fox. Whatevs. Oh boy. I really do need to eat. was neglectful. All right, let's see what can be seen. Do what can be done. Learn what must be learned. Yep, okay. We saw what must be seen and we did what could be done. Uh. What you don't know is what that calls to mind. It's the, uh, oh, am I going to be able to say her name, come up with her name? Probably not. She was the, so Harry Potter's the subject. She comes in under whoever the leader of the Ministry of Magic's name and comes in and starts making Harry write, I must not tell lies on his hands. I can't remember her name. Dolores Umbridge, is that her name? It might be. What am I standing on? Pile of crap. Literally. Yeah, I don't want you. What 
use that granite. Don't watch you. Ornate spear. Eight po oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is a superior spear. And we've got uh, we've got an intact tapestry that we're not going to touch. You say food. Wow. You say siege, you say tool, you say farming. Flax fibers, yes. Oh, cabbage. Am I, do I have a full stack? Is that the problem here? I do have challenges here. I'm going to eat all these. I'm going to run them through my belly anyways. Not much digestion is going to take place. Certainly not much by way of nutrition is happening. Okay. Oh. You don't walk away from cabbage seeds. Let me just explain this to you. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. This is... Oh shit! This is bad. This is very bad. Get down to the surface where you can move freely and avoid the Goombas. Holy crap. They took me out almost... almost instantly. I can survive if I can maintain temporal stability. That was not good. Well, the best news is we have no armor on, so we get full healing. It's not great healing, but we get it full. Hey, move, Wolf, move. And we get some dopey drifters. I can kill them and get some temporal stability back. Wow. Uh, you know that thing right there, Wolf? Look at it. You tend to not look at it these days. It gets you in trouble. Why, yes, I'd love some lovely turnips. Thank you. Just because there's a temporal storm, what kind of storm is it? Heavy, even. Well, those whack-a-moles that came in into the cave, they were no lightweights. These weren't no surface and deep drifters, no siree. These were the real thing. Well, I'd like even more to be an extra trader because Hopefully that dude would have a bed. That would be another reason why I want to kind of make temp whoop, whoop, whoop. with a drifter. Uh, trader. Jeez. Oh, a little temporal storm comes up. And you get all befuddled and tongue twisted, wolf. Well, I did almost die. You do know that, right? Well, if you look at your HUD once in a while, you, you give fair warning about these things. Now I got a stupid pig? You have got to be kidding me. Well, my, what am I face checking? I think I'm going north right now, actually. Yeah, because it's three in the afternoon. This sun's over there, which means I'm going north, which isn't generally the direction I was heading. Look at us, we're doing just fine. 
No worries. <laughs> as soon as he says that, Drifter drops out of the tree and kills them. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I know you're there, dip crapper. I've got other words for you, but this is a family show. No, I don't set these. I don't claim these are okay for children. It's too terrifying for children. Probably not most of them, actually. Wow, can I get out of this absolute mess? I don't need you on my hand making me more hungry. Yeah, see, so like this guy? We could kill him. If I had the inventory space, we could even gut him. But I don't. But that should have gotten us some temporal stability back, which we don't seem to be hurting on. Alright, well, I don't think I'm. <laughs> Can't stand still, Wolf. Drifters will catch up to you. Oh. I have no idea which direction. Well, okay, so again, it's evening. Shadow's falling that way, which means I'm going north. Which I didn't want to go north. But it's not gonna kill me, I don't think. Starvation could kill me. Yeah, I think I could kill you. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you see all those? And one of them is a double-headed, which would be lovely to kill. But I am totally unprotected. Anybody following me? Love to have taken out a double-headed drifter. I have no inventory space anyways. What kind of drifter are you? I think you're a simpler one to kill. Oh crap! Except for the guy that came up behind me to kill me. No, don't die, wolf. Don't die, wolf. Don't die, wolf. Don't die, wolf. <sighs> and my guy that I was shooting at lives. Until now. That other buddy just had to come and uh, be all bad, right? Thank goodness for bandages. I wasn't dead, but I would have been so easy to kill. Temporal stability is holding. Has the pitch of my voice gone higher than it was before the temporal storm? Why, I bet it has. If I come up here, can I get anywhere? Well, if you're doing this, you can get over here onto this little platform. Yes, you can. 
Oh, oh. I heard you, dude. What are you? One that deserves to die at my hand. Wait a minute, that's true of all of you, aren't you? Oh, you should have died. You must be a deep drifter. I was expecting you to be dead. Like I lost a spear. And I don't know if... Uh, I'm not sure you get temporal stability back from the light ones like he comparatively is. <gasps> oh, Shibata! Did I mention Oop? Just believe me, that's what I was thinking all the way down. It was an alt, it was a, a, a variation on that word. But that's what I was thinking. here please hate this crap well wolf um don't do that again you're prone to die if you do that why do we have separate so I've used all my bandages I do have some in my chest just two of them Oh, oh, the uh, last thing I need to do is tackle a moose. Last thing I need to do is tackle a moose. I don't think he was on me. But I saw it and I didn't need it. I knew I didn't need it. And I said so. waning signal yet. We definitely have lost significant temporal stability. Which is to be expected. And yes, killing drifters helps you recover temporal stability, but once again, I'm not sure if surface or deep drifters actually benefit you that way. Yeah, I'm all kinds of messed up here. Oh, waning is good. Looks like I might survive after all. Might! That's a nightmare. Yeah, I could take him. If he's the only one that comes at me. Oh, but no, I got three now. See that? You stop for one. And you get three. So it's not over, that is to say. <laughs> there are still drifters out there. And I still have poor, poor, poor temporal stability. Horrible temporal stability. But at least it's positive. It's rotating quickly. Oh. <laughs> Go oh, wolf, don't stop. Oh my gosh, didn't even have my fingers on the keyboard. Be happy to kill you, sir. And your butt buddy. You must be deep. Because I hit you three times already. You keep bouncing this, the spear comes whizzing past you. Jack and soul. Oh no, I threw my good spear too. Okay. Thought we got rid of y'all. Tried to get rid of y'all. Yeah, I know you're you're telling me you're gonna despawn real quick. Whatever. Who cares? Did I get anything? No. That's alright. Okay. 
But you belong there. Well, I see across the waterway that there are things that are good for me. Things that would be good for me to collect. Let's say that. And then combine them with something else. But the key here is no more damage, Wolf. You can take no more damage. It's true, we do have two bandages in the chest already ready and waiting the two aren't what I need I need a staff I need I need more more than I need more than two so after the horse tail then we need to get some reeds harvest some reeds combine them into bandages we got 18. There's clearly going to be more around here. One assumes. And yeah, one knows what assume means. like falling down into that cave, I can tell you. Didn't much like that at all. I think my mouse was getting the life squirrels out of it. As I was falling. It was a long fall. Very happy I didn't die. Not sure why I didn't die. Very happy I didn't die. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and I left one. There. I repaired it. Um... to eat the berries so I can take the chest off my back and place it I'm going to use the two heels that I had Another one standing. Well, laying, actually. Alright, this is not really... For somebody that uh, doesn't have great health, it's a bad place to be. So what we need to do now is find some reeds. We have a large body of water around which we can move. And maybe we'll find maybe we'll find some reeds. Not all body of water has reeds growing in them. Cattails. I don't recall if papyrus works with the horsetail, but uh, they kind of interchange, but they're definitely not the same. So 
for anybody who wants to know if Wolf can survive a temporal storm. I just present to you what I just did. As my body of evidence. Not only survived one, but survived one out in the open, completely unprotected, and it began deep inside a cave. So, bet your butt I'm proud of that. Barely. I mean, you know, could have easily died. Could have very easily died. Didn't. Okay, I don't, so it must be nighttime. Yeah, no shadows. Okay. You wonder why it's so bright out? Three answers to that question. Settings. Yeah, I'm all the way up. Mod. Accessibility tweaks. Screen brightness. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. And number three, there's a setting in, pretty sure it's client, yeah, it's client, client config.json in your data folder. It has an interesting mm, value that you can set. It's called min brightness, as in minimum. And that keeps things for content creators like myself from making black videos at night or in a cave. It sets a minimum brightness level over the entire game. Well, you're a lovely waterfall, but you don't have no reeds in you. How many reeds is used? Oh, midnight just happened. Wow, two reeds made four bandages. Holy crap. Oh, there's a wolf sitting there. Maybe you should focus. Focus, wolf. And we are down one spear. But we certainly have enough to take on. And wolf. Band freaking tastic. Uh, first wolf kill of the game. I think. So, what do we want from the wolf? Everything we can get is the answer. That, of, that would be... Uh, where'd the fat go? Well, there was fat. I threw it. Apparently got no fat. I'm definitely going to have to try out my sword. But I have, uh, oh, there's another wolf. Should I be taking them out? I'm just a passerby here. Two wolves. Which probably means more. Nah. I have no reason to. So 
Somehow I think that's south, but that must be... I don't know. Does it really matter which cardinal direction I go? I think it probably does not. You know what? It's time to cook. It's time. It's past time to cook. If I was having a cold problem, 90.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees C. <laughs> I have more logs. Probably more than the need. So it looks like the sun's come, you know, going to be coming up over this side. Certainly brighter than that side, so that's clearly east, which makes that south, which makes this, which makes that, blah, 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 blah. So we certainly have not been looking for, I have not been looking for copper anywhere in particular. Should be able to break this up and that should make 112 which should fit nicely in a stack i'm yeah 115 i meant yeah oh yeah that's what i meant 115. And that's still too much that is to say more than is necessary I don't really think that I need these. I think we can put these in here. protein are we we need some 
We need some reeds. East, okay, whatever, south this way. Why do I want to go south? It's a habit. Oh, well, if you're going to be dumb enough to stand there. Where did the pup go? Sounded like a pup. Do you want the fat? Of course, why? You gonna be uh, making windmills later, Wolf? As a sweet spear. I wonder how you. I wonder if and how you can repair it. Huh. Okay, so we were heading south. And if I had my map, I'd open it up. Yeah, we saw two of you over there, you jerks. I choose to stay away from you. So yeah, if I had a map, I'd open it up and I'd look for a big body of water and look to see if it had, you know, green stuff dotted throughout it. And then I'd go to that point and I would cut reeds because that would have told me that that was a body of water that had reeds in it. There's a body of water over here. I have no idea what it says. Not this one. Not interested in the Thule. Well, actually, you know what? On that note, what note's that, Wolf? I don't know, but it's the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Certainly am enjoying playing. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please consider subscribing to my channel. And for those who already have, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you. If you like uh, the video, click on that like button. And let the world know it. Questions, comments, please do post on my videos. I'd love to hear everything you have to say. Come watch the next one, won't you? Thank you. Goodbye.